last time in the Great Loop 2021 Part 7, we got anchored up in the Caloosahatchee River. We had to make a run for some fuel for the generators. And we had a little bit of time to kill before we got ready to haul out. Okay guys, I wanted to give you an overview about where we were. So as you can see, we're up here, but we're just basically north of Fort Myers. We made our way in the last video, as you remember, up here and then past the 75 bridge. And we anchored up right in behind this island right up here. Now the thought was, is we had a couple of weeks to wait for the engine to get built and then get it up on the hard to be hauled out and the engines put in. Now the reason we chose back here was this river is tight. And as you get work your way up, there's less places to anchor and not get hit by moving boats. And as you can see, it's a pretty populated area. So we chose back there. But we eventually did move our way up the river. And then we got up here to um, the town of LaBelle, which is basically right here in this area here. Now, I eventually took good times to LaBelle Marina um, and had it here in LaBelle Marina while we were waiting and I would go back home which was the original plan to work because originally we were going to work to the east side east coast and wait there until the weather improved but with the engines uh, shutting breaking down we had to kind of change that so that's basically where this video is going to bring us Well, uh, last day here, um, we're getting ready to move. It was a little foggy this morning. It's mostly burned off. And uh, I don't think we'll be back here. Been a nice anchorage. Been here for about a week. And uh, we'll move up to another one for about a week for a change of scenery. And then we'll move on. Tiki is getting ready to pull her anchor. We'll get underway. It's kind of tough to see in here when this is like this. So as you can see, it's a little foggy that morning. The clouds were down. So we decided to move from there, but wasn't going to go very far. Since we've been there a period of time, we needed to get some water and some other things. We decided to go to a nearby marina. I gotta tell you, it's near about the most expensive marina that I've stayed in so far on the trip. So, probably want to avoid this one. Tied up. Marty's coming to pick me up. We'll go help him get fun Tiki in. We'll be here for a day. See, y'all think Marty's got that camera on to document his. He's waiting for me to fall in. He's trying <laughs> to catch that on video. I know what he's doing. Yes. That? Yes. No. <laughs> hey, I'm pretty good at being eating, drinking, and being merry. I have, I have, you, you know, mastered. I've mastered it. A little mobile home over here, kind of ratty, but boys, he got a nice piece of property. Yeah. That's all they're waiting on. Location, location. He's waiting on a big offer. Where do you want to pull this? Uh, Probably ought to be like mine up on the side. Yeah. And then when you back in, it's going to go to your front, out of your way. That worked wonderfully. Yeah. Yeah.
Lucky going. Perfect. Just let it go. Going right in perfectly. Didn't get no better. So once we got the boats all tied up, it was time to go in and pay. And this was back still when COVID was kicking pretty hard and we had to take all the necessary precautions, but we got it done. So after we got paid for, I noticed this fish hanging over here um, by this tractor and we went over and checked it out and they had just called it. He's a big YouTuber and um, this thing was huge. It's called a Warsaw Grouper. He was so big, he even made the news. You see the size of this fish, a grouper. And talking about big. <laughs> Come on. Fish, just caught off the coast of southwest Florida. FWC wow. says it's a Warsaw grouper, weighs 350 pounds. Wow. Take you an hour to reel that thing in. Biologists estimate an hour. it's about 50 years old. It could uh, make the oldest sample collected for FWC's aging program. Six months. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Can't go black to be at headquarters. Ah, uh, you know what? Oh, rib meat. That rib meat's probably delicious, dude. That's good. It's good, man. And you can actually, because you're so big, you can actually take you out. How many people know you guys from uh, YouTube? Have you? Great, <laughs> man. <laughs> <laughs> So if those that have been following will remember, we actually did our first um, live at five here with a, gra with a group and uh, quite a few subscribers came out. We met up. We had a great time. We did the live at five out in the little Sandy Beach area. Man, it was just a real hey, fun time. Live at five somewhere. Five o'clock somewhere. Go ahead and pop one. Cheers. All right. Yeah. All right. Cheers. 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 All right. Just um, getting going here this morning. I was uh, moving some files over and answering some questions uh, from the live at five yesterday. But we're getting ready to get underway. I've done my engine checks already. Got the motors fired up, let them warm up. They seem to be warming up real nice. Temps. And uh, some of the things that you got to do when you get underway, especially when you're single handing is a uh, little waves coming in. Make sure you got whatever you need up here because once you get underway, you can come down, but it gets a little harder. But we're getting ready to get underway. Hopefully make just about 20 something miles a day, it'll be fine. We're gonna break up the 46 mile trip in two days just to make it easy. So let's get this thing going.
the wild cotton tiki is getting ready to come up. We've got a uh, lock coming up right around the corner. Got my life jacket there ready. They're requiring us to wear life jackets now. Is having a problem. We monitor 72 on our radio and then we talk back on that. That's our talk around channel. That's my oh crap video camera. Things always seem to happen when you don't have the camera in sight or, or I'd say right at your hand. So that's one I can just grab, hit it, and it's watching the action from my point of view. So hopefully. I hope nothing bad happens, but stuff that is going to happen, I hope we can catch it on camera. All right, we're looking good. Five and a half feet of water. Let's go make our way here. Just see a view out here. So the first bridge that you're going to encounter if you're heading east from Fort Myers is the Fort Denod Swing Bridge. They monitor Channel 9 and they open on demand if you call. Those that have been following along real time on some of my updates, you'll know at this time when I was in the Caloosahatchee, just approaching the bridge, the um, starboard engine shut down. And it was my coil that went bad. I eventually fixed it just a few miles up here pretty easily, but what a bad time for that to be shutting off. But we made it through with no problems. through the first lock of this trip got boats lined up up front boats lining up in the back and we'll uh, work our way through this one shouldn't be a big deal might be a little bit more for Contiki you don't have a lot of control but we'll leave it on video here so unfortunately here guys the next video behind this one uh, showing the lock was corrupted couldn't get it to uh, work but basically the lock opened the boats you see sitting here were lined up we moved into the lock we tied it off and then the lock uh, dropped us uh, there will be plenty of locks in the future and you'll see them but unfortunately that's the challenges of video okay guys this video is approaching that mark 
If y'all enjoyed the video, how about hit that like button? It helps out. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel, do that now. Also hit that bell notification. You'll be notified whenever we do any of our lives. Y'all come on back next time when we get up near LaBelle. I'd be dadgum if we didn't get caught in a water spell. Your, uh, you got your uh, oh it flew off that's crazy there's another pole right here Up to, under, under the pole. okay got it yeah it's not there it's not there